They don't argue. Your friends don't argue either. Bueno, y to, contra más trabajo complejo hagáis, peor. And the more complex you work, the worse it will be. No, sobre cocina todo el mundo discute. But everybody argues and discusses cuisine. Mis amigos me discuten cada día. His friends argue with Ferran every day. Yo tengo, yo tengo una aproximación con, ¿no? con, con la sociedad y con la, con la cocina muy extraña. So Ferran has a very strange, uh, um, different kind of attitude to food. Porque yo soy, soy, creo que no sé nada de cocina. Because he believes he doesn't know much about cooking. Okay. <laughs> y la gente cree que sabe mucho. And people, most people seem to think they know a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to prove to you that I don't know that much. So this is an orange. ¿Sabéis cuántos tipos de cítricos hay en el mundo? Do you know how many different kinds of citrus fruits there are in the world? Cítricos, no nada. Citrus fruits. Ni idea. No idea? No busquéis por Google, ¿eh? Don't, don't Google it. Hay alguien que está haciendo. Hay 2.500 tipos. There are 2.500 different types. ¿Sabéis cuántos tipos de naranja hay? Do you know how many different types of oranges? Más de mil. More than a thousand. Por lo que figuramos, sin solo de un producto. Just one uh, product or ingredient. Es imposible saber. So it's impossible to know everything there is hay to una, know. Hay un ejemplo muy fácil que lo tenéis que es el vino. There's another good example with wine. Con un producto que es la uva. For example, with a product like grapes. Hasta los expertos más expertos, más expertos del mundo, no saben. Even the world's top experts don't seem to know everything there is to know. Bueno, sabemos un poquito más que los demás. But these people, they know a little bit more than most. ¿De dónde, de dónde es la, la Do you know where oranges originally come from? España, ¿no? Sí, sí. Y yo soy, ¿no? Tom Ford. Sí, sí. Spain and France, Tom Ford, right? De la China. They're originally from China. ¿Y quién los incorporó a Europa? Do you know who brought them to Europe? Los árabes. The Arabs, not Marco Polo. We all consider ourselves very cultured, very knowledgeable. No, 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 and we like to learn. Abiertos, we're open-minded. No but we have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> have we ever given thanks to the Arab world? No. No. Entonces, esta es la primera cosa que vamos a hablar de cocina, pero yo no tengo ni idea de cocina. So we're going to talk about cooking and food, but I have, uh, Fran has no idea about food. A ver. Yo estaba estudiando económicas. Fran started studying economics. Bueno, y me quería ir de vacaciones a Ibiza. He wanted to go on holiday to Ibiza. Y para pagarme las vacaciones busqué trabajo. And in order to get some extra money to pay for the trip, he got a job. Y fue, de and he started out as a dishwasher. Mi idea era aquello, trabajar un tiempo, ganar dinero para irme a Ibiza. His idea was to work for some time, make enough money to go and spend it on his holiday. Me di que había, había que trabajar. But he realized that he had to keep working. Dije, pues bueno, pues voy a continuar. And he decided to continue. En ningún momento era, mi, mi pasión era la cocina. He, uh, his passion for cooking didn't start at that time. No tuve ningún maestro, como el de un maestro. He didn't have a master or a, a teacher. Y esto fue fundamental para mí. La And this was a fundamental development in his career. Porque me exigió preguntarme siempre por qué de las cosas. And that caused him to continuously ask himself questions about things. Y continuó. And he continues to ah. ask himself. Eh, tenía 20 años, fui al servicio militar. When he was 20, he went to the military service, to the army. Estuve de cocinero también. He was a cook at the army. Uh, en el mes de agosto del 83 fui a hacer un estaje en Bulli. And I, in 1983, he went in his summer break, uh, during his military service, he went to the Bulli as a stagiaire. Me propusieron eh, ir a trabajar en el año 74, cuando acababa el servicio. And in 1984, when he finished his military service, uh, he was offered a job there. Y fui a el mes de marzo. And that year in March, he started working there. Y con 22 años, el mes de octubre del 84, era jefe de cocina. 22 de octubre. No, no, con 22 años, el mes de 
October in London. And at mean? 22 in the month of October that same year, he was already head of the kitchen. Right? <laughs> so use your imagination. <laughs> Most of you were Básica. born that year. Right. 1984. España. Spain. Right. 22 years. He was 22. Cocina. And he was head of the kitchen. De uno de los que ya en le it was already an important uh, restaurant at that time in Spain. Eh, el cómo, el por qué es muy largo. It's rather lengthy to go into the explanations of why and reasons and so on. En aquella época, la alta cocina solo era francesa. But at that time, haute cuisine, high-end cuisine, was French, only French. Durante cinco siglos. And that's how it had been for the for, for the past five centuries. En occidente. In the Western world. Eh, hice mimetismo. So he started copying and imitating. Y hice cocina francesa hasta que un día fui a una conferencia como esta. And he, uh, he imitated and in French cuisine until one day he attended a conference very much like the one you're attending today. Y aquí estaba un cocinero francés. And there was a French chef. Y uno, un chico de aquí le preguntó a él. And there was a, a young man who asked this French chef. ¿Qué es la creatividad? Who asked him, what is creativity? What does creativity mean? Y él le dijo, creatividad es no copiar. And uh, this chef replied, creativity means not copying. It's a very stupid, silly um, sentence. Muy simple. Might seem simple. Yo he escrito no sé cuántos libros sobre, sobre creatividad. Peran has written a lot of books about creativity. He oído hablar a los mejores creativos del mundo. He's also attended uh, talks by some of the world's top uh, creatives. Ahora este noviembre voy a dar clases a Harvard sobre creatividad. And this November he will do, be doing lectures at Harvard on creativity. Y sigue siendo la mejor frase que he oído en and it still remains the best sentence he ever heard. Como es normal, no estaba hablando de no copiar, estaba hablando de ética. Uh, as you can imagine, he wasn't just talking about not copying, he was talking about ethics. De, de honestidad. About being honest. Con uno mismo. With oneself. De cuando te levantes por la mañana y te miras al espejo. When you get up in the morning and you look at yourselves in the mirror. Ser ético con la creatividad. You have to be ethical with creativity. Una palabra que también odio. Another word he hates. Porque al final lo que se trata es de hacer cosas. Because it's all about really, it's about doing things. A mí como me da alguien una tarjeta que ponga creativo, es que la digo. If uh, somebody hands a, a card to Ferran that says he's a creative director or something like that, he throws it away. <laughs> he likes normal people who do extraordinary things. And if you're doing uh, creativity, it doesn't make you better than anybody else. ¿Eh? Bueno. Entonces esto es un poco como yo pienso, ¿no? This is un poco con la creatividad. How Ferran thinks in his relationship with creativity. Ahora vamos a hacer, vamos a ver un vídeo, un poco para explicaros el porqué de la... Bueno, perdón, perdón, sorry. Just a second. Bueno, entonces os situáis año 87. So, 1987. El Bully, un restaurante de cocina francesa. The Bully, which was doing French cuisine at the time. Nouvelle cuisine. It was doing Nouvelle cuisine. Ferran empieza a pensar un poco. And Ferran started thinking a little bit. Right. And something started changing. Estamos en la Costa Brava. 